I thought uh, New Haven uh, certainly uh, you know, did their homework and uh, did a great job of prepping for this game. Um, our kids uh, did a, a good job of adjusting in the second half and um, you know, the, the, the draw uh, from last Saturday uh, left a bitter taste um, and uh, you know, they, they, they were determined to, to sort of uh, you know, put a better performance together tonight, uh, especially in the front third. Yeah, how pleased were, were you? I mean, not that you haven't been in close games. You just mentioned the uh, the double overtime scoreless draw at AIC last weekend. But it seems like at home, you guys have just kind of put some distance between yourself and teams. And how pleased were you with, you know, close game, obviously a goal early in the second half, and then to kind of break it open late, uh, just to see them kind of deal with having to play close and, and kind of overcoming that adversity? I, I thought, um, you know, I was more pleased with uh, the, the way that we went back to what was working. Um, you know, in, in every game, just about uh, prior to the, the the Saturday, the weekend game. Um, you know, uh, being a little bit more patient uh, in the front third. Uh, you know, looking for one another rather than taking on a shot that uh, may have been better to cross uh, the ball. Um, so those adjustments, uh, going going back to what was working, was what sort of pleased me more. Um, and and you know, uh, you're going to have games where the ball just refuses to go in the net. And, and I felt like that was what was going on on Saturday. Um, but again, you know, that's, uh, that's the game and uh, you've just got to adjust and, and prepare for the next match. Because again, every game in the NE10 uh, presents a, a different challenge and, and New Haven certainly did that tonight. Uh, Trisha Lewis, two goals, uh, the one early in the second half that I mentioned, the 48th minute, you know, how big of, you know, her as a senior to kind of come through, get you that goal and obviously add the penalty kick. Uh, insurance goal. Yeah, I feel like uh, Trish is playing at a different level. Uh, you mentioned the fact that she's a senior. She's got a lot of experience. Um, she moves off the ball really well, makes a, a lot of smart runs, you know, has good technique and, and great work rate. Um, it was good to see her get on the board. Um, it's good for our team uh, to, to see us get on the board so that we don't get antsy when uh, those chances fall uh, to our feet, uh, you know, in, in a meaningful game. Um, and that really set the tone a little bit in the second half and, and um, it, it helps everybody to relax a little bit more and, and uh, you know just get back to doing the, the, the fundamentals and the basic things that again help us um, you know overcome uh, teams. Uh, you run the, the unbeaten streak to seven straight tonight uh, you know without needing to put pressure on the team kind of what do you guys have to do uh, Saturday here another home game against Stonehill to, to make it eight? Really uh, you know we, we get a chance to to, to soak this win in another shutout, which again we're super proud of. Um, we've we've got to watch some film tomorrow, and then you know just get back um, at uh, putting in the work rate that we've been putting in in, in the training sessions, um, and not really so much uh, concentrate on the result or worry about the result, but just making sure that we are doing the the the, the things that that help us get there. Right, um, being mentally focused uh, in practice. Um, making sure that we're soaking in the information that's uh, that's uh, being um, given out, and then you know hopefully uh, executing as, as much or as well as you can um, each each and every play, and, and forgetting about the result. Awesome, thank you, coach. Thanks.